let's talk about something else than text for a change. And uh, going to uh, color doesn't necessarily make it um, make it easier. Uh, but another question that comes up a lot and where we see things happen that maybe shouldn't happen, and that is conversion of uh, CMYK to CMYK. And how you, how do you do that? Well, again, I have some theory here. And the example that I'm using is a, a relatively common one. Uh, you have files that come in that use isocoded V2, and you want to print them, but your printing uses using PSO coded V3. This could also be going from a coded profile to an uncoded profile or vice versa. Um, the, the generic problem is I have one type of CMYK and I want to convert to another type of CMYK and how do I do that? Well, a very common way of doing color conversions is using ICC profiles. That's what usually people think of when they, when they talk about color conversion. And so if we're doing that here, uh, there would be two ICC profiles involved. I would have an ISO coded V2 profile and I would have a PSO coded V3 profile. And the, this is how they would live on your system. When you would look for the collection of ICC profiles you have, there would be one that is called ISO coded V2 and the other one is called PSO coded V3 or something similar. These profiles, again, are small software components, really, if you look at it. These, these things know how to convert from isocoded to LAB. So each ICC profile knows how to convert from a particular color space, and that color space might be CMYK color space or an RGB color space, and they, they know how to convert that color space to an abstract color space like LAB. And so the question is, how do you use these things to convert from point A to point B? The best explanation I've ever heard for that is, came from someone from Kodak who said, well, you have to think about that as playing dominoes. And when you play dominoes, things have to match up. And this is how you match them up. So I would use two ICC profiles. The, the isocoded V2 profile would be used first because I want to convert from my original color space into LAB. And then the other ICC profile would be used to go from LAB to my target color space. Yeah? And that seems to make, to make total sense. And if you would be going from sRGB to PSO coded V3, I would say, yes, this is a very good idea. Go for it. You'll have the perfect results. Nothing is a problem there. The problem that you have here is that you're going from a separated color space, this ISO coded V2, and you're going to a separated color space, PSO coded V3. And if you do this in this route using regular ICC profiles, um, well, the separations that you have on the left-hand side are not going to be the same as the separations you have on the right-hand side. And now you run into a problem because the things that are pure black on the left-hand side are more than likely not going to be pure black on the right-hand side. And the same for things that are pure cyan, magenta, and yellow. The same for things that are pure reds, green, and blue. On the right-hand side, after this conversion, you're not going to end up with nice color mixes. You're going to have all kinds of contaminations. And that is usually not a good idea. It means that your black text is no longer going to be black. It means that if you have nice pure colors on the left-hand side, you now have some ugly other color on the right-hand side. That's usually not what you want. So in general, if you want to, con if you want to do color conversions, you can absolutely use ICC profiles, but you shouldn't use ICC profiles to go from CMYK to CMYK. The better way of doing that is using what is called a device link profile. And a device link profile is a profile where you also have these, ty these types of conversions from ISO-coded to LAB or PSO-coded, but it isn't exactly the way it is listed here because the transformations in the device link profile can shortcut things. And they can have all kinds of exceptions. They can have special handling of color pairs. And so in, in typical device link profiles, you will find instructions like, if something is a primary color on the left-hand side, make sure it's a primary color on the right hand side yeah? and if you have pure yellow on one side 
you might end up with a different percentage of yellow on the other side, but you're not going to end up with a mix of yellow, magenta, and cyan in some strange percentages. They are going to remain um, pure primary colors or pure secondary colors. Okay? If you don't have a choice, um, if you have to do a color conversion if for documents that come in, for everything that is RGB, go ahead and use ICC profiles. There is no problem there. If you want to go from uh, CNYK to CNYK, you have, to, in, 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 in my view, you have two choices. The first is use a device link profile, a proper device link profile to do the conversion. And the second choice you have is don't do anything, just leave them be. You're probably going, going to end up with better results if you don't attempt to convert that CNYK that comes in and you just use it as is. Because if you're going to convert them using ICC profiles, you know that you're mixing up the separations and that you're going to get in trouble doing that. 